Yes, death of a salesman. Talking about these characters, and, and there are questions about whether or not Willie is together mentally. Um, there brings up questions of what does it mean to be a success. Um, Biff is 32 years old and still kicking around in, this, in the beginning of this play, ends up back with mom and dad. Um, in teaching my face-to-face -face classes, this is a, this is a real point, um, with my classes because they, uh, look at me aghast that someone 32 would move back home. My own son recently, uh, after graduating from college, took a job, it didn't work out, and he called his sister to see if it was um, <laughs> self-respecting to move back in with dad for a while while you got on your feet. And there is a typical thought that 25, is, for my 18, 19-year-old students, is about as long as they would want to live, they would find it okay to live with mom and dad. The reality is many of my students will end up back with mom and dad through one of a variety of life circumstances that we can't foresee right now. There are choices that are being made right this second that are going to have long-reaching consequences and you can't see them. You're not aware of it right now. Something that feels like an absolute no-brainer, slam-dunk, right choice may not work out. Um, and that's difficult. I think the playwright plays around with these concepts as well. Um, when he or she is writing a play, I think he's following, he or she is following a character and he's putting them in situations to see what happens. We typically give the playwright uh, credit for having an agenda. Uh, it may or may not be true, I think, and we'll do a paper later on in the semester about the role of choice both for yourself and, and for um, and for the playwright. But for the moment, this week, we will focus on tragedy. We will watch Death of a Salesman, and uh, this particular version will star uh, Dustin Hoffman as Willie Loman. And here is the thing I want you to pay attention to. Pay attention to the choices being made in this show. Are they good choices? Are they bad choices? How do you know? Are these characters ones you like? Do you like Willie, Linda, Biff, Happy? Do you like them? Are they likable? Uh, do you watch them make choices and go, oh my gosh, no. And is it possible that other people sitting around looking at your choices going, oh my gosh, no. So that's our, our job this week, is to look at tragedy and the role of choice. Um, again, down below, tell me, define tragedy for me. And be careful. Um, last week I gave some videos that had some answers in them, and I asked you for those answers, and you gave me answers that didn't come from videos, uh, which means probably some of you are trying to skip the videos and instead try and Google it. You're in the class for the reason. Just uh, this isn't going to be an onerous amount of work. Do the work. Watch the videos. Do some thinking. Contemplate your own life and see what lessons we may learn from uh, ancient theater. All right, good luck this week. The Role of Tragedy.